Hello, viewers. I'm SB. And I am Amabel. And welcome back to Amabel Goes to Forex School, where I play a game of civilization in a sort of a sort of a loose kind of whatever kind of fashion. Listen, I'm not losing, but a good player, no. a good player would certainly be winning more than this. Um, so nope. anyway, let's uh, I... let's. Sorry, go ahead. I was going to say, I like how things were going wrong. Cause yeah, it's, not it's, wrong it's, it's, so much. It's just kind of I'm not doing a very good job. Wrong is no, uh, wrong. It's like almost an overstatement. Okay, well, I, I don't mean it like it just like you had things not pan out and then you're dealing with it. And there's a lot. I'll say this, that what I'm observing here in Civ, which might be true of the genre generally, is that there's a lot of texture to it. Mm-hmm. And the texture is fun. Yeah, the, 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 that is definitely a thing about these games. Is like, they're they're slow moving. They can be a, a really big investment, and you spend a lot of time, sort of not having like major like what you might consider set piece moments or anything. You spend a lot of time just sort of like gliding along the surface of it, and so the texture matters a lot. Like the yeah. way the way it feels matters a lot, and I think that it's a thing that. Civ has really spent a lot of time trying to polish and stuff, and I think not always. Yeah, to a but... certain to a certain extent, for Civ, it feels like it's the only thing they care about is the the feel of it in that sort of like the feel of historicity kind of way, and yeah. I don't think that the feel is the only thing. But I don't know. In any case, so we're yeah, about but... to finish our preserve here. Uh, she wants to feel she give us stuff. Them. Still not. That's not Plymouth. I mean, if he doesn't always shine the brightest. Okay. Um, but I, I, th I think we should just keep asking her for Plymouth. She'll get the idea eventually. Uh, we can build the Eiffel Tower now. All tiles in your civilization gain plus two appeal. That's an interesting way to conceptualize the thing that the Eiffel Tower does for France. We're gonna just... <laughs> you alright? Yeah, you just... So, my first game they published with a box. My first boxed game, not a magazine game, was a game about the franco prussian War of 1870, and the publisher commissioned a painting that telling me and the painting had the Eiffel Tower on it. Yeah. Because it's, because it's France. Uh-huh. Eiffel Tower didn't exist yet. Ah. So it was it was like a big, embarrassing... And it be, that became the story of the game. It's, it's the game with the Eiffel Tower on the cover. And it was... I just it reminded me of that. And that's one of the reasons why I designed my own covers. <laughs> yeah, that's... Uh, I, understandable. Like uh, people ask me sometimes why I do things the way I do them, and a lot of it is just I've had other people screw it up, yeah, and without having the control and the ability to say no, so I create a situation where I'm I'm the one responsible for better or for ill. So we have this um, this like badly injured line infantry, and I'm yeah. probably gonna I'm probably gonna you know um, fortify and heal up. I don't exactly know how forming a core works in regard to like what it does to the health of the unit. I think we're going to I think we're going to merge these two units in part because we already have more stuff than we can jam into the bottleneck. So let's just like tighten that up a little bit. That makes sense. So okay, it, it looks like it probably averaged their health. Which I think is a reasonable way for that to go. We can move you up. Uh, you can just run stuff to... Let's see here. A trader to Tadweni is worth four industry. It's also 27 turns long. Remember, we're getting era score from our trade routes finishing. So I am trying to... Um... And this era is over in 10. Yeah, this era is over in 10. So I guess it won't matter. We won't. We won't get the point of era score for this either way. So I guess let's run the trade route that gives us the value. I mean, a trade route to Ottawa is very high value. 
Yeah, let's do that. We want we want trade routes to our trade route to our friend. Uh, this cavalry, I think, is gonna hang back for the moment. We're gonna keep picking up their wall with our inferior cannons. I do not know what to do with you at this point. I'm gonna bring this unit home, I guess. So we're we're not going to get a dark age. Right? That's yeah. not happening. Uh, we have a preserve. We can build a grove in our preserve, which grants plus one food and plus one faith to adjacent unimproved charming tiles. Uh, so our preserve is right here. If we flip to the appeal lens... Uh, yeah, anything that's showing green. Unfortunately, the preserve is like against the water, and these water tiles are not... Um, just, just average in that bonus. water. Yeah, it's just like normal water. Water can't be charming. What are you talking about? So, it would affect some tiles. So it's interesting. <laughs> Sweetheart, can you switch back to that lens real quick? Uh, I'm okay. sorry, slow us down. No, but all right. Are there any disgusting tiles on the map? I want to see what a disgusting tile looks like. Uh, the, yeah, there's some disgusting tiles up here. Oh. <laughs> Disgusting. Look at that. Disgusting grassland. It's all okay. it's all like it's all filled with like muddy uh, flood detritus and okay. stuff, I guess, is what's sense. going on there. Alright, thank you. Uh as industrialization continues, that kind of stuff will be more Oh more, sure. More that makes sense. Um but you know what we need is theater squares. <laughs> Just more theater squares forever. We'll build it adjacent to the preserve, because why wouldn't we? This tile's not super high, right? This Yeah, this tile has average appeal. So we'll put a theater square on it. Why not? All right. So, science. We still don't have square rigging, but also I don't care. Um, I think we're probably, we're probably looking at working on flight here. Or okay. economics. Sanitation's good. Let's you build medics. Sanitation's going to be important for us to get eventually. We will build two neighborhoods eventually, too, though. We're about to get this for free. An industrial era or later wonder. Um, is the hermitage? When's the hermitage? Hold on, it's, on, it's on this tree. No, the Hermitage is not. No, it, it, I don't think it would be, no. Although I don't actually, where is it? So right now, the, yeah, the, the, the number of, oh no, it absolutely is. It absolutely is. Okay. Okay, so, like, that's not close to being done, but it's closer to being done than it would, it would take us longer to research this than we would get there. Own two privateers. I mean, electricity matters. Hmm. I guess just pour it into electricity. We can get we can we can build two privateers, right? Yeah. Oh, we do have to pick up square rigging eventually. That's right. Even though we have the direct prerequisites for tax, like, okay, just, yeah, just focus on square rigging for a bit. We are not going to kill a unit with a musket man. That seems very unlikely. So we are just going to have to get this the hard way. Yeah. Our science output is bad, to be clear. Ah, the real flourishing of modern era culture began with the discovery of conservation by Babylon. Strong rainforest for economic gain is like burning a Renaissance painting to cook a meal. That's how you're pronouncing that word, huh? All right. Uh, so we got three envoys. That's good news. Yeah. Uh, old growth woods that have woods that have never been removed gain plus one appeal, and allows builders to plant woods. So we gain the ability to reforest. Uh, we've also gained the ability to create naturalists who can create national parks, which are a big tourism thing. Uh, and national parks, if I remember correctly, the mechanics, uh, national parks produce an amount of tourism that is based on the 
uh, the appeal of the tiles within them. Okay. So this is part of the reason that I wanted to make sure we have these like this huge appeal area. Uh, you have yeah. a promotion available. So what we're what we're trying to do is get to expert marksman. This is the most important thing. If your if your range unit survives to get four promotions, it gets an extra attack by a huge margin. The most important thing. So uh, we are definitely taking that promotion. And we are, I think, this is a little scary because it's going to put our line infantry core's health pretty low. But getting this guy's health low enough that he won't be able to just bum rush the field cannon, I think, is cri pretty critically important. Okay. And then I have a question for you after. Okay. So one of the promotion things that was available was the ability to exercise a zone of control. Yeah. Uh and I understand it did not seem as strong as the other one, but how does this game, how does zone of control function in this game? Because that's, that's a If you move concept, from I'm... one tile in a unit zone of control to another tile in that un in a unit zone of control, it consumes all of your movement. There's no okay. there's no concept of like opportunity attacks or anything. It's just Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, no, so... that's that's a... okay. <clears throat> Our spy is set up in Bradford, and that's cool. You can see most things we're not actually very good at. Uh, we can set up a listening post to increase our diplomatic visibility by one level. Um, if we want to like have a good chance of getting any of this stuff done, what we need to do is spend some time establishing a network in the city. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have our spy gain sources, which will give us 24 turns of much better operation ability uh, and com successfully completing missions, including gain sources, I believe, uh, earns XP and spies can um, spies level up and they gain promotions and they specialize and, you know, all that stuff. OK, so we earned three envoys for completing a thing that gave us three envoys. I'm not so worried about Hunza right now, although obviously we were making a lot more money when Hunza was our, when when we were the um, suzerain of Hunza. There is something to be said, I suppose, for kicking her out of there just so we don't have to think about it anymore. You know what? Maybe I do drop two envoys on them. Previous mercenary contracts are subject to renegotiation when Babylon overturns the old suzerain of Hunza. Okay, so Hunza is now. On side again, uh, and look at that. That did immediately increase our gold income very considerably. Hunza's yeah. bonus is significant. I think we'll sit on the other envoy to make it harder for her to steal it back. But it is worth noting that um, she doesn't actually have that many envoys. And now that her... Um, her governor envoy person has been kicked out, she's like way behind us. So there's good good odds we're going to be able to hold on to it. At least that's what I hope. Okay, choose Civic. We finished conservation, and I think that was important to do. Mass media obviously is sort of a direction for us. We, we do need to we do need to do the thing, and to get there we need urbanization, and urbanization also I think just incidentally is very good for us because we need housing very badly. Okay. Yeah, geez. Force modernization. 50% gold and resource discount on unit upgrades. Yeah. Yeah, we would make some use of that for sure. <laughs> uh, so, before we hit next turn, we have the ability to make naturalists. Um... They are not that expensive. Can I buy them just anywhere? Yes. Uh, it's it's squawking because we have, uh, you know, that that type of unit in the thing. Uh, the thing is, we definitely want to create national uh, national parks around our natural wonders because they're very the the tiles are very very high value. Mm -hmm. Let's hold on. Let's open up the Civilopedia. 
this is the the one thing where I think Civ is like hands down the best at this in the genre. The Civilopedia is a thing that absolutely every one of these games desperately needs and they don't all do it and the ones that do do it don't all do it well. Uh, you need to you need to have the text of every object in your game readable, cross-linked, you know, like mm -hmm. All right. Um so this doesn't have the information I want. I think I think it'll be the national park. Yeah, okay, here we go. So national parks can be built on a cluster of any four tiles that meet the following requirements. The tiles must be natural wonders, mountains, or a tile with an appeal of charming or better. All four of the tiles must be owned by the same city. The tiles must be contiguous and form a vertical diamond shape. And no tile can have on it an improvement or district. This is part of the reason that I put the theater on the, the theater uh -huh. square on the lower value tile. All right. So we have such a location here, I believe, if we owned all these tiles. The fact that the ocean or the fact that the lake is right here actually makes this kind of awkward. Well, let me pop up the, the appeal lens here. Like a vertical diamond of tiles is actually really a really annoying requirement. We have extremely breathtaking land here, but we don't own all the we'd have to buy these two tiles to do it. And the fact that this tile's appeal was so low was breaking a lot of it. Like, ugh, that's really frustrating. Um, over here. Oh, no, sorry, here. Uh, we could. So there's one right here. Right. These tiles okay. are these tiles are all functional. So, yeah, we have one that we can take advantage of. Let's let's buy a, a person in Dirk Kragalzu. Yeah, that's going to be really nice. Yosemite National Park makes sense. Uh, over here, what are we looking at in terms of costs? 400 gold in total uh, before we can put down a second one. Uh, if we appeal lens real quick, where else? There's actually the like, good land around Mari for this. The lakes make it a little awkward. But we should be able to do one like here or here. Okay. Um, in fact, if we do a national park here, I don't know if we're allowed to just slap down another one adjacent to it, but these tiles all qualify as well. And they're all within three of the city. Um, so once we have enough gold to purchase all of these tiles, like it should, it should be possible potentially for us to lay down two more parks here. That's a pretty big deal. Uh, and we do actually have uh, some breathtaking land up here as well, but we don't, I don't know. We have to mess with it a little bit, um, but we should be able to build a couple of these, a couple of national parks, which is nice. Uh, and also the war is still going on and I think we're mostly winning it and that's nice. And a lot, a lot of things are going okay right now. As it turns out, oh. Mount Kilimanjaro is not Wi-Fi enabled. So I had to spend two weeks in Tanzania talking to the people on my trip. That's uh, how very fun. Okay. So I, we discovered this deep in somebody's territory. And we have a uh, suzerainship of that city state that gives us a relic every time we discover a natural wonder. Uh, so we found the Shroud of Turin up there, I guess. That's mm, okay. Uh, so throw that in a temple somewhere. Uh, Mashkan Shapir is probably where that ought to be. Cool. Uh, so yeah, where was that? We got vision of... Oh, it was just south of Winnipeg. We've just never had vision of that tile before, but our trader running up to Winnipeg saw it. That's that's wild that there was one on our continent that we, we didn't see until this moment. Uh, Toronto is threatening to flip over to us in six turns. That's going pretty well as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's stuff. It's happening. We got to get the build time on this down, but we will. Uh, 
Uh, I'm no longer suzerain of Hansa. Are you sure? Barbarians, that's a problem. Producing, bar producing barbarian coonskin cap rangers. This game. Yep. Uh, we're gonna take emplacement here as well. Definitely kill your ass. Okay, and so did you see how close that field cannon was to death? If we hadn't done the line infantry attack, we definitely would have just lost a, a field cannon there. Uh, you just hold up, try to survive. Who's this great person? We've earned ourselves James Watt. Instantly builds a factory in a workshop and factories provide plus two production. Yo, that's a great engineer. Uh, you just d d d hang out. Okay, so we have a question now. Where do we want to use that? I kind of wanna, I kind of wanna put up a new industrial zone somewhere and then have him have him improve the new place. You know? Yeah. That's probably what we'll do. I don't know exactly how we'll do it, but we'll, we'll get there. Uh, hey, you. Would you please designate a national park? I'm trying to push to the, the Golden Age. I don't think we're quite going to get there, but I'm trying. All right, the world's first national park proves what a few far-sighted conservationists knew to be true. We must protect the natural beauty of Babylon for future generations. That's a weird... Okay. A world without radio is a deaf world. In any case, that gives us radio. Radio gives us the ability to build seaside resorts, which provide tourism equal to the appeal of coastal tiles. Minimum appeal of breathtaking. <laughs> yeah? You have, some, you have something you want to say? Why does, ra Why does radio unlock seaside resorts? Why is uh, I, advertising? For advertising reasons? Yeah. This will haunt me. <laughs> it's fine so you can see there is a sort of a vague a green outline but it's weird because ti these tiles are usually quite green yeah so it's a weird color for them to choose I get the sort of the association with it um, so yeah this is a barbarian encampment I don't know that it's going to be a huge problem necessarily because both Candy and Hunza are capable of producing like line infantry and stuff they might just put the barbarians away for us. If they don't, I'm going to be very annoyed. Because we are extremely busy military unit-wise. Speaking of units, okay, my builder is on the way. He's coming. Uh, here comes our coal. You're trying to give me more money. Here's the thing. I'll do it. I'll give you peace. All right. I told her what it would take. Engineering is the art of directing the great sources of power in nature for the use and convenience of man. Okay, so we've revealed oil on the map. Let's take a second and really look around for oil. Okay, there's some oil there, and that is within three tiles of our city. Oh, there's a lot of oil up here. There's oil there, too. That um, kills one of our natural uh, park spots, probably, because I do want the oil. <laughs> we will we will prioritize the oil over the national park. Uh, heavy rains along this river could have been a problem, but somebody, somebody covered their shit. Good work. I'm going to bring the scout home. We're just going to keep fighting because fight, uh, fighting this city is generating lots and lots and lots of XP for us. It is a, a, a source of level ups that will just keep paying out. He's pretty much just going to hang out over here. Like eventually Mari's going to build a a district and we'll you know we'll take advantage of a thing eventually okay mashkan shapir 
can now build a broadcast center in its theater square, which gives us some great slot, great work of music slots. Okay. In addition to more culture output. And I do think that's probably the most critical thing. I, I think the, oh, yeah. you know what? You know what? We what? gotta produce archaeologists, is the thing. At some okay. point, we have to actually deal with these heritage sites, and I'm a little worried, you know, eventually somebody else is gonna take them. Okay. So maybe that's what we should do. We don't need to be producing military units right this second. We don't have enough NITER to produce proper ones anyway. We could send eight again. We got to keep an eye on this. Um, but we, all we all we need to do is be the top, you know? Statue of Liberty plus four diplomatic victory points. All your cities within six tiles of this are 100% loyal. Must be built on the coast adjacent to land in a harbor district. So we have a good tile for it. If we put it here, it will keep Toronto from ever flipping back, which is kind of funny. Yeah. Actually, if we put it here, one, two, three, four, five, six. If we put it there, it would also affect Plymouth. <laughs> okay. Yeah, actually, give me give me a quick Statue of Liberty if you could just <laughs> pump that out. Okay, so we already have a builder running down in this direction. We are definitely going to buy this tile, tap the tap the coal, tap the oil, figure stuff out. You would like some of my niter. I am not willing to trade that. That is very important to me, friend. Okay, my line infantry is getting his ass kicked by the by the walls here. So we are four points short of a golden age. You move. Okay, we can get you. Yeah, we can get you to safety. Let's have you fall back and heal up. Have somebody take your place. We have a couple of. I guess the. Yeah, you. How close are we to finish the. Okay, I'm not going to move this bombard forward. I'm going to core up and then we'll. Let okay. Worry about it. So you just hang out for another turn. You get down here and... Hey, James Watt, could you get the fuck out of the way? What's up? I love you. He's always a problem, you know? I think this is the thing about James Watt that most people know historically is that he was always in the way. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're about to finish an amphitheater, which is going to let Edgar Allan Poe do his thing. Edgar Allan Poe and James Watt are just like bumbling into each other, really blocking up all of our important work here. What are we looking at in terms of tile purchasing? I want to grab this oil. I'm trying to select the city, but okay. I want to grab this oil right now. This is what the builder's doing next. And then we'll run around and grab that. And so we don't have a lot of money left to play with, unfortunately. Okay. But then the oil will give us access to some better units and we show. Yeah, things will get. Oh, no. She made an uh, she made a, a core of knights and a core of crossbows. And that doesn't really make it doesn't make a lot of sense to me that that was able to kill that unit because that shouldn't. Those two together should not have been anywhere near capable of killing a full health field cannon. But all right, whatever. Field Cannon has won the day. Three era score left. This is going to help. Uh, tapping tapping the oil is going to be worth some era score for sure. So the fact that it keeps giving you era score for like doing really well at battles. It's, it's giving us really? era score every time one of our non-core or army units kills a core or army. Yeah, that's, that's, that's an interesting incentive, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, we're 
I need some broadcast centers here. We already have a thing. Uh, Mashkan Shapir is losing loyalty. It's at 99.4. Uh, we're going to be fine. It would, it would not lose loyalty before the, the Statue of Liberty gets built anyway. We're fine. Um, so I think I am actually going to build an industrial zone down here. Okay. Uh, so this tile is not part of a diamond necessarily. I wish we had a little bit more money. Because I would love to build... I want to build this adjacent to the oil. We're going to get the best yeah. value from it that way. Although I guess if I build it here... I don't want to replace this pasture. The sheep pasture is a really good tile. But I want to build it somewhere where it's going to be adjacent to a, a strategic resource, you know? Yeah. I want to build it here. This is where I want to put it. Can we trade? Can we just get 40 gold from somebody? Hey, Mansa Musa. My man, do you have... Is there something I have that you would like to give me 40 gold for? <laughs> what would you give me? Okay, now I hear what you're saying, but what about right the fuck now? 40, right? It's a good deal. Can we get... You know, you know I can't... If he's cool with this, we gotta check. Like, 50? 60? 60 is too much. 55. 54. If I ask him to make the deal more equitable, he's going to turn it back into gold over time. So I do need to dial that in manually. Stop laughing. <laughs> it's so good, though. I'm not saying it's not. I just want him to stop it. <laughs> okay, build an industrial zone over here. James Watt, go oversee that shit. Edgar, please start writing. Villains, I shrieked. Dissemble no more. I admit the deed. Tear up the planks. Here, here. It is the beating of his hideous heart. That feels a little fucked to be like, his heart's the thing that's hideous here. It's not me. It's the heart. It's the heart. It's the heart what done it. All right. The basis, the, the, the base of the thing has been completed. She would give us the Ramayana now. She's adding more great works, but we, she knows, she knows now that we have a great, a great uh, work of writing slot. Here's the thing. Um, okay. Well, only one of us is allowed to own Plymouth and it's not you. So, uh, I completed a city state quest for candy accidentally. Uh, yes, this city wants to join us. Do we keep it? Do we kick it out? It's not an amazing city. It's like pretty not amazing. <laughs> it does have access to turtles, though. I do like turtles. Or at least Can it could. Keep it for me. Okay, that's, I mean, you heard the lady. Ah, the citizens of Toronto have given us two era score. <laughs> that was nice of them. Okay, so these assholes are coming at us with crossbows. <laughs> what you're what you're witnessing here is desperation. Uh, so yeah, it should be it should be okay to just kill them with whatever. Like, obviously, we're gonna get this unit's gonna get potentially double attacked. With, uh, with the range units, but let's just clear them out. Okay. That's a golden age for us. Fantastic. Uh, let's move you over here now. Because, hold on a second. Video game dragging me all over the place. The Bombard Corps needs to move up and take their position and show the walls of Plymouth who is the boss. Uh, I do like the, the, the slow, it feels like a siege. Yeah. You know. Oh. Discovery of plastics by Babylon sets the stage for the... We just hit an atomic era discovery. It is 1500. On this earth lasts forever. Except maybe plastic. Uh, so we've learned how to upgrade our recon class units to spec ops. 
with the ability to para drop and to attack support units directly without having to eliminate the combat unit on the tile first, which means that they can like attack a great general who is in the same space as an army or something, um, which can actually be very powerful. We've got the ability to build offshore oil rigs because there are oil sources in the water, plus food to all of our fishing boats everywhere. It's pretty good, pretty good technologies. All right, you go to sleep here. While I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more. Weak, weak bars from the protagonist of that story. Uh, Hunza is no longer, I am no longer suzerain of Hunza, but we're about to get more envoys from influence. Um, okay. Yeah, just like just like shitty, shitty harassment from Eleanor, basically. Yeah, she has ten envoys in there. I I fucking bet that's a real thing that actually happened. Come on now. <laughs> oh, there's a oh they built a commercial district, in a commercial hub instead of building a harbor. Why it's the AI? What is wrong with you? Uh, okay. This city is. But, by the way, this city is, like, actually ass. I'm going to build a market, I guess. I don't even... This city is garbage. <laughs> Send aid. <laughs> <laughs> a box of Wilfred's stuff shows up on... It's like, here, we found this shit in that city we took from you. Thought you might want it back. <laughs> Okay, build a market. I don't care. Whatever. The city's garbage. Uh, it's horrible. It's it's honestly, it might be bad for us. It might be a net negative for our empire. I mean, as far as the AI uh, goes, it feels like Wilfred's doing the worst job of anybody. I can't tell. Yeah, I can't tell if he's in the game or not. Like, it's very weird. Oh, we took a lot of damage there. Uh, however, this Bombard Corps, so the the strength of the city is lower now that there's not a military unit in it because the military unit came out. Oh, they've developed their own field cannons. Look at that. Uh, and the combat strength of our Bombard Corps is higher because it is a core. So let's well, blow shit up. Only took them like 90 years. Yeah. <laughs> the walls are... You know, eventually coming down, maybe, maybe someday. We are in fact going to be um, going to be wanting some new military units pretty soon. I think. I can't upgrade you to spec ops because I don't have seven hundred fifty gold. Boy, that'd probably show those barbarians who's boss though. You know, I'm gonna go kill that religious unit they have an apostle and that needs to change i don't know what that thing's doing up there but it's not allowed uh so we built an entertainment complex we have some cities that that want more amenities we are working on amenities we can build a zoo uh, this uh, this only works on cities nearby that's less exciting uh we can build a sanctuary in our uh, in our preserve. Our preserve is down here. So, appeal lens, please. Yeah, it affects a couple of tiles. Or we could just work on, like, very slowly work on a broadcast center. I think that's... We're gonna need them eventually. Um, but yeah, now I'm wondering about building military units. If we wanted to swap over to one of these oil powered units, is it is it like the others? Is it 20 oil straight up? No, it requires basically no oil for startup costs. And then they consume an oil every turn. So right now each each source of oil is enough to like power three units basically. Okay. Um So we could just build we could work on building some artillery and come back to this broadcast center afterward. I do really want to get the broadcast center done. But you know what? What am I doing? We can purchase the broadcast center with faith. 
because this city is crab timed. This city knows the joys. Great work of music. That, okay. It's sort of a low vibe tune. It's a, it's a little quiet. Uh, unfortunately, each one of those broadcast towers, I believe only has like one or two slots in it, right? Uh, yeah, one. So we can't use any more of his uh, any more of his stuff just yet. Okay. I can just buy the broadcast tower over here as well. We probably should. Honestly. Okay, apparently getting two of those is how you get satellites. Right now, I didn't even know that. 31 satellites zipping around the world with nothing better to do than help you find your way to the grocery store. So we've gained the ability to launch the moon landing. Uh, that's some science, uh, that's some science victory shit. We have gained access to mechanized infantry, which has a melee strength of 85. That's pretty good. Uh, yeah. And all we really like, all we really want is just like a lot more gold. You know, the only thing I want is to be unreasonably wealthy. Let me build a builder because we actually do need to. Um, we're picking up some new, some cool new stuff that we can do. We probably ought to uh, actually do it, like build some of those. Uh, what do you call it? Build some of those beach resorts. Uh, I guess that means we can we could build a uh, we could buy a broadcast tower here too, and probably should. That'll be enough to exhaust this great musician at least. Has okay. anybody done anything on the aid request? Nope. Nope. We are still we are still winning. Okay, promotion available on our bombards there. Hey guys. Gonna get access to that. You can just continue shooting. Uh, so bonus combat strength when defending is probably the way to go here because we're only really gonna wanna use this thing against district defenses. I guess just keep shooting because the city's defenses are gonna be shooting at the bombards. They'll be trying to remove yeah. the bombards. Well, more promotions available. Always exciting. I know we don't have any power. Hold on. I'm gonna, I swear, there's going to be coal eventually. We're working on it. Okay. Hmm. So we're going to push into our first golden age in just a second here. And I am excited about it. I, God, I wish, we, I wish we were still suzerain of that city-state. It is worth so much money. All right, here comes our here comes our burst of envoys. I like where your head's at, but let me run something by you real quick. Okay. She's got to know it's coming, right? Like, what is what does she think she's gonna do? All right, our agent has successfully gained sources. Great work, buddy. I can attempt to steal maple tree from this city. It's a 50-50. I don't love that. Okay. We could we could blow up the governor. Apparently there's a governor here. We don't even know who it is, but we could just knock him out just, just, just sort of show her who's boss. If we succeed on this, our spy will at least gain um, some XP. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. Neutralize that governor. 28% chance of mission failure, 9% chance of being captured or killed. If discovered, Eleanor will lose respect for us. Yeah. I don't think she had much to begin with. Yeah, I don't th that situation's not getting any worse for sure. All right, we will be sending envoys to Hunza. And you know what? Since we're having to do so much work with Hunza, like we're just, we're never going to be able to really make use of our diplomat in Singapore. I'm just going to... Uh, where is this? Here we go. Let's just reassign her to 
to make Hansa harder to take away, because the amount of gold that it produces is really valuable. Okay. I am tired of the shenanigans. All right, our Bombard Corps is going to do a hell of a lot of damage to these walls. Yeah, the, the defense strength uh, difference is huge. They're going to have such a hard time killing this now. Okay, we are going to condemn this heretic. Minus 125 Catholicism, indeed. <laughs> I'm glad that you enjoyed that. This game... It's true, I do have enough faith to purchase a missionary. That could that could happen at any moment. All right, we're getting like really close to having more resources. So there's a pike and shot barbarian down here. Ugh, that's that's tough to deal with. I don't really want to pull back units that are sufficient for that purpose, you know? Like anybody yeah. anybody who could kill that thing should be fighting the English. Apologies, we're not going to spend a lot of time listening to the great work of music. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm surprised they don't let it play out while you're playing the game. Yeah, like you if know? you get one, it should ju it should just be the soundtrack for the next couple minutes or something. I gotta tell you, I'm getting a little tired of hearing "O oh Canada" and "Cross um, Sage <laughs> Rosemary and Time." <laughs> yeah, Scarsboro Fair. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody built a wonder that is not a wonder that we were working on, and that's fine by me. And we've entered our first golden age. Not our first. Is it our first? It's, it's our second, first. Right? It's our first in a while. Sorry. Okay. Our poets and philosophers hold up your civilization as the light of the world. Hey, yeah. It's the industrial revolution and the growth of urban concentrations that led to a sense of anonymity. Mm, okay. Vint Cerf is certainly a. Anyway, <clears throat> I don't know who that is. Don't worry about it. Toronto's losing loyalty. I mean, that should not be true. Because our loyalty, you know, during the golden age, our loyalty output is like really high. All we need for it to do is hold on until we get, <laughs> until we get the statue finished. So um, anyway, dedication. So yeah, each of your citizens exerts 1.5 loyalty pressure in their city and extended out nine tiles. Uh, let's take a thing. So, plus three starting population for cities settled on a different continent than your first city. This is not going to do anything for us. Traders yeah. cannot be plundered, and international trade routes uh, provide bonus gold per specialty district in the foreign city. That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. That's, that seems pretty good. Plus 10% production toward industrial era and later wonders. Campus district science adjacency bonus provides production as well. That's also very compelling. Uh, and this generate yeah, we would unlock the spe special cast of Belli, which unfortunately we don't need anymore. Uh, and plus 15% production toward military units. I think Reform the Coinage and Heartbeat of Steam are both are both definitely pretty interesting. Yeah. I do I, It's got to be Reform the Coinage, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So, the Walls of Plymouth. All right. Plymouth no longer has fortification defense, and that means we're in a whole different ballgame as far as dealing damage to a coast. And when we take it, when we when we hit it with a uh, land unit, uh, it's gonna be it's going to fall very quickly. So let's see here. Can I get you into a good position? I can kind of like move this guy over here. This is like, he's not the guy that I want to be in that space though. It's all right, we'll take it. We'll take it kind of slow as far as getting additional bodies adjacent to the city. It doesn't need to be right this second. So you don't really have anything super relevant to be doing. You are gonna build this mine on the coal. Yeah, I don't know what I want to do with this scout. He's not strong enough to go fight a pike and shot unit. That's for damn sure. 
I guess just um, hang out for a minute. I was curious how I'd be able to build a fort up here. I guess I'd have to remove the existing improvement. It probably doesn't matter anymore, but um, I was, you know, there's no trees on this tile is what I was thinking. Yeah. Okay, so we definitely want to be running trade routes to uh, other players' cities. Like, look at the, the Ottawa trade route gives plus 39 gold now <laughs> in addition to four industry. And we can run trade routes through, like, sketchy other players' territory and stuff because of the fact that we do not... Um, yeah. Our, our traders are no longer plunderable. Train a modern anti-tank unit. Okay, well, we'll see. I would like to do that. That sounds cool. We'll see. All right, let's grab mass media. We know that we know this is the direction we're heading in. And you can see we're at 143 tourism already without even getting that many more great works just because we're starting to pick up the um, things that improve our tourism output. Yeah. And, I mean, obviously putting down the national park helped a bunch. Uh, but you're going to see that number climb fairly quickly. Oh, Molly's doing archaeology work. That's good to know. All right. The World Congress is in session. So that means that it's going to... Remember, uh, we're currently suffering under a minus loyalty effect on all of our people. Uh, that effect is properly ending now. Oh, God. Uh, spies executing the chosen operation function two levels higher. I don't know how many other people have spies. Part of me wants to wants to say great work heist. Yeah. But I'm a little worried about making it easier for, for people to steal my great works. I still think I'm going to do it. And then everybody earns double points toward great people of this class. What would I... Engineer, maybe? I think we have more more indus industrial sites than most people do. And I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put some gas in both of these. We have a lot of favor built up, and winning winning would be would would, would be good. Oh, there's more proposals. Shoot. Oh, the world's fair is gonna start too. Okay. Uh, so chosen player gains two diplomatic victory points. I'm gonna say yes on this. Um, let's go Hammurabi. I'm gonna pull down some votes from this so that we can put some more gas on this. Cause you're gonna, it's gonna blow your mind, but I think it's pretty important that I get two diplomatic victory points. So okay. we've been, we've been banking uh, for a while. This is where we, <laughs> this is where we throw it all in. Mm -hmm. All right, so the World's Fair competition might open up here. If it does, you gain score by generating great people points. And we are so fucking good at that. Yeah. I think I think the, the AIs will probably vote it up. I think the, the AIs generally like the big competitions. Yep, World's Fair passed. Everybody's positive. Uh, two vi diplomatic victory points for Hammurabi. We did, in fact, win it. Did everybody vote for themselves? Yes. But I voted most. Because that's democracy, baby. Uh, we also won yeah. that. We did not win this one. People decided that there should be no great admirals earned for the next 30 turns, which... Okay. All right. Ah, and we've, we've got coal income now, and we've got a coal power plant, so now we, are, now we are producing power for the first time. All right. So, uh, generate great people points to earn score. We don't even have to think about that. That's just going to happen. The World Congress has awarded you four diplomatic victory points. Amabel. This wasn't yeah. what I was thinking, but we are now at seven of 20. Yeah. And about um, almost halfway through a wonder that's going to give us another two. Mm-hmm. And we're going to win that aid request thing. Not impossible. Right? Yeah, well, yeah, probably, right? Nobody has done anything. Yes, I think that might be what is about to occur. Okay, there is a line infantry I'm trying to get all up in my business. All 
Uh, why are you so strong? Hold on. I'm going to... Um, I cannot, in fact... I can build railroads now. That's right. I'm going to fall back here a little bit. I'm a little worried. This guy's got so much combat strength from something that I'm a little worried we are actually going to lose this unit. I'm going to back you up because you're actually like an, a weird out-of-date unit and you don't... Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. It doesn't... It probably doesn't change anything at this point. I'm not sure why this guy's combat strength... So 65 strength. Plus mm -hmm. 3, plus 3, plus 4, plus 3, plus 5. Like... There's that great general, I suppose. Move you forward. Now, how far are we from getting some of those oil-based units? Have we started trying to make them, or are we still waiting? Uh, we have we have oil in the stockpile. We're producing an artillery unit right now, and now that we have Hunza plus this um, this bonus to international trade routes, the money is really coming in, and we will be able to pursue some like purchased upgrades at some point here. Okay. But I am afraid that we are probably going to lose this field cannon, which is frustrating. Let's do some damage. Try to survive. Uh, we could set up a solar farm. Tell me about solar farms. Provides two power. Must be built on flat terrain, so it's gold production, two power. That's interesting. It lightens up um, the spend on our coal. Actually, I do like that idea because that'll that'll allow us to run some of our um, some of our uh, buildings without having to spend coal in the power plants. That'll be that'll be nice. It will it will allow us to use coal for other things potentially, which we might want to do maybe. Okay, so we have a builder finishing. Yeah, I guess in a lot of places we're just kind of doing our thing. 26 turns till Rebellion here, so plenty of time to finish the statue. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. If these line infantry actually do... What? We are free from every want and can devote our time to the will of God. I guess. <laughs> I'm like, I'm kind of doing something here, right? It's like, once again, it's just like, anything you say to me is just an interruption, so maybe don't do that. You have satisfied Wilfred Laurier's agenda, money grubber. Cool, great, thanks for calling me that. My promise of the, okay, the Ethiopian Empire considers our promise to stop settling on top of them to be fulfilled at this point. Remember we told them we wouldn't do that anymore? We haven't, we haven't done it anymore. Oh, that's annoying. I, that should have been a kill. You're dead. Okay. The city is still... It is still taking forever for us to knock this over. And it just... It, the, the health bar just has to go down. It doesn't... Yeah, that's all there is. There's not like a... Okay. Um... And, like, this unit is doing okay damage. But we're just... Yeah, it's just time. It just takes time. Uh, I think we are going to... So... Seaside Resorts. We need appealing coastal locations. You know what? Let me also purchase a naturalist. Let me get this. Let me step this guy out of the tile. Oh my god, come on. Not enough faith accumulated. 595. Oh, I did spend a bunch on broadcast towers. That's right. Okay. Because I think we might be able to get... We might be able to wrangle another national park over here, actually. Okay. So I was thinking we were going to build resorts. 
but there's definitely something to be said for putting down more solar farms. We should go improve Candy's oil because they'll, as we as we are their suzerain, they will give that oil to us. So let's go. Let's go put down an improvement on that. Uh, you're gonna build that solar farm. The sun breaks free from the clouds. Already the skies seem cleaner. I mean, listen, we are pumping out some serious garbage into the air. Let's not make any any mistake about that. You're good. Don't don't do anything. Okay, so this city now has an opening to build some stuff. I mean, is it neighborhood time? It might be neighborhood time. So, we want to build a couple of neighborhoods. We know that we need to build a couple of neighborhoods for um, the purpose of pushing some of our unlockables. Or, but there's, there's a thing that gets boosted for having two neighborhoods. So, I am going to prioritize those a little bit. Uh, when this finishes, we'll immediately fire James Watt, and that's this city will all of a sudden be really good at building things. You want to give me a longsword? A medieval artifact that you discovered in exchange for all of my oil. I don't... No. No! Mm -hmm. I know, I get what you're saying, but I'm gonna... Oh, uh, sure. Did we not have embassies? He's feeling friendly already. Ah, Hansa. The effect of the mass media is not to elicit belief, but to maintain the apparatus of addiction. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay, she's she's one turn away from establishing, so she will provide for us two additional um, envoys. We are, we are very close to... Uh, to locking up Hansa for a little while longer. <laughs> All right, our line infantry corps can go up here. Yeah, just wait. Just hang out. Produce our third great work of music. We're doing it, Amabel. We're, we're producing the culture that makes the world do the thing or whatever. So let's talk about capitalism. What's capitalism? No. Well, when no. you have capitalism, uh, you can produce extra great merchant points, which makes a certain amount of sense, right? International trade routes provide plus one gold per luxury and strategic resource improved at the destination, as well as plus two culture and plus two science. That's not what a market economy is. Just That's just gibberish. Uh, it also unlocks the ability to build this thing in a neighborhood, once per city, that grants four extra tourism. So it is pretty good for us. However, I really want one of these advanced governments. So let's talk about let's talk about ideology. What's ideology going to give us? More spying, bonus adjacency stuff, plus production towards certain kinds of military units. Five-year plan is kind of meaningful. It also gives us the ability to uh, declare ideological war against a player who's in a different tier three government than yours. So that I think makes some sense, certainly. Yeah, what what an interesting mash of things in there. Yeah, I definitely I definitely think that's where we're headed. All right, so we have access to another another governor title here. I mean, tax collector is not nothing. That city is fairly large. Yeah, let's let's promote Reyna. Grab tax collector over there in uh, in Malgium, because that's going to be a little bit of extra money. It's not going to quite replace Hunza, but we're going to get Hunza back in a second anyway. So annoying. So very annoying. All right, and we are producing a fair amount of money. We're also producing enough faith for me to get that naturalist next turn. Next turn. So yeah, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with this money. We're gonna, I, I wanna upgrade military units, right? 
Mm-hmm. They're, they're trying to bring in stuff. They're, they're trying to save the city now at the last moment. Very annoying. Uh, get stronger. Probably get stronger against ranged attacks, actually. Like, most of what you're going to be doing is surviving attacks while ranged units destroy things. And then doing the last, the last grab at the end. So we could upgrade this to an artillery core. But obviously it doesn't get to fire this turn if we do that. We could turn you into mechanized infantry if we had so much more money. Holy shit. All right, Amani is now in Hunza, and so Hunza has become ours again. Like, I do, that's what I want to do, right? Is get yeah. some mechanized infantry and just fuck these people up. But unfortunately, not really on the table right now. And I think we just press in and threaten them. I'm going to take the turn to upgrade. All right, before oil was merely a curiosity of scholars. Yeah, yeah. All right. I don't feel great about the, you know, the things that we're doing to the world necessarily, but. Yeah. But we got to get there, right? We got to get there. So. Uh, we are we're we're at the end of the episode more or less here, but I do want to I do want to actually fire our artillery corps at yeah. the city just once, just to see what the damage looks like. That makes sense. Uh, open borders for I no I don't even want open borders with you. What are you doing? Get out of here. Uh, this is still a refuse. Okay, so she brought in some extra line infantry from somewhere, and God, there's so many there's so many things happening all the time. Okay, so we did win the aid request. We were the only people who even tried to help, and so we get the reward for highest score. Hooray, diplomatic victory points. I guess two field cannons, one of them being a core, plus their own their own line infantry core. Okay, they were able to burn through our our line infantry with that. Uh, this is a much more impressive amount of damage. Yeah. Plymouth is Plymouth is actually going to fall pretty soon. In fact, maybe even this turn? Where's my cavalry? Yeah, I think we can take it now. Do it. Then we attack with you. That flips the city over. Uh, keep the city? Hell yeah. We are allowed to just burn it down. Oh no, don't do that. Uh, yeah, we're not gonna do that. Keeping the city will give this opponent 39 grievous, grievances against us. Grievances will be either refunded or doubled at the end of the war, depending on whether or not we keep the city. We're gonna keep it. And since we decided to keep it, we now have access to the uh, the range strike capabilities they're in. Uh, and yeah, that's pretty good for us. I'm gonna have at this field cannon a bit with our with our stolen guns. This encampment is in a terrible spot. It's super good for, like, it's not actually any good for defending the city from uh, somebody attacking from my side, but it's really good for defending the city from her. <laughs> I think this is a huge error. I don't know why she built that there. <laughs> Um, yeah, and then our line infantry corps is just like right behind the front line, ready to, ready to make something horrible happen. Just take a turn there, friend. Heal up. Or our, not, not corps, but our upgraded line infantry. Yeah. Uh, you should probably build an amphitheater. You are not giant crab timed. So, man, should I just fix that? Maybe I should just fix that. It's not that expensive to make an apostle and run around and convert a bunch of shit. Actually, but it could just be a mer it could just be a missionary. It doesn't need to be big. Also, we've never broadcast center here yet. We'll have to fix that in a minute. So we're not building an amphitheater because we're gonna buy an amphitheater. The grove and the sanctuary. Plus two production for adjacent unimproved breathtaking tiles. 
are these tiles the the tiles that the wonder is in are breathtaking right yeah that's breathtaking all of these are these are really good tiles so to build this uh to build this sanctuary here would actually give us a lot of extra gold in production in this city the grove is a bunch of extra food and culture yeah that's interesting um i think i would like a sanctuary it's gonna take a while but that's fine i don't really want to be getting dragged back to that city to pay attention to it all the time anyway she doesn't have an amphitheater in her theater square. So this city didn't have any great works. That's quite annoying. I'm actually very annoyed by that. Oh, we should repair the aqueduct that I burned down. Yeah, okay. That sounds fair. Remember when I pillaged all that stuff? Despite the fact that we were about to own it? Okay. This is all, this is all continuing apace. We're 10 turns off of that. So here's the question. Do we continue pushing? Now that we have an artillery corps with another artillery being produced next turn, we have a very serious threat to a lot of her cities. And I wonder, ooh, Sheffield has aluminum. Sheffield has some natural, uh, yeah, okay. Sheffield at the very least is falling as well. Okay. I don't care how you feel about hills. You're, like, you're a person on the other side of the world. You can't possibly affect what's going on with me. I, friendship mm. or scorched earth. Okay. Don't quote Roger Ailes in your video game, you fucking assholes. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Um, plus 50% production towards settlers. It's not really what we're doing. Okay. No, this, this stuff doesn't really matter. We're not going to change any policies on this one. Uh, we are going to continue blowing up their stuff with their own guns, because that's fun. Uh, Plymouth is trying to flip back to uh, to her. And obviously, like, as long as we don't actually, as long as we're not the, the technical owners of it, um, it does not provide, uh, we don't, it has very poor loyalty. So we're not going to yeah. be able to do very much about that for the moment. Um, Let's see, I really want... Okay, I guess you can attack from here because you're inside the district, so you're pretty safe. And then we can actually kill this guy? Oof. Line Infantry Corps. It's a tough unit at this point in the game. We can't quite run our... I, I really want to get this Artillery Corps forward, but... Well, this isn't going to flip this turn. We can we can store it here for one turn. Uh, you can follow up. Prepared to do some real work. Uh, Candy wanted us to convert them again anyway, right? Yeah, we had a religious conversion quest from them, so that's good. Uh, this city has... The ability to... You know what? We could build a water park out here. <laughs> what? It's dumb. No, don't worry about it. Okay. We're going to need more amenities, and these, these cities in particular need amenities and stuff. Let's just, let's just water park. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's a real shame. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, this, this location... Can, spre can spread amenities to Toronto. It still reaches Mushkan Shapir. Yeah, so we'll do it here. That'll be good for us. We need a lot of help with our amenities. Okay, this is finished. So instantly build a factory and workshop in this district and all of our factories get a production bonus. Your progress toward class struggle has advanced considerably. That's what happens when you have three factories. That, that makes a certain kind of sense, right? Yeah. Oh right, he has two charges because we built that building that makes all of our all of our great engineers have extra charges. Uh where am I gonna build another Maybe I just fire him again here next turn just to just to get the plus two factory because I don't know that I am gonna build another industrial district, honestly. 
I guess uh -huh. Dermudi could use one. We would build it like up here, I guess. I do like that actually. Next to what's okay. going to become a, a mine, and then it's providing extra adjacency bonuses, and and this is not a tile that's ever going to be part of a national park because of the way things are shaped. Yeah, so do that. James Watt will haul ass over there, and did they clear those barbarians? They did. Okay, haul ass over there and fire his uh, his other charge. That's actually really cool. That's very good for us. Um, what do we want to do here? I do want an archaeological museum. Yeah, just just build it. I was I was gonna say like, oh, we should wait until we can purchase it with faith, right? But um, there's only so much we can do that. So I'm gonna hold on to these envoys because I mm -hmm. don't know when we're gonna have to flip Hunza back. My guess is she's just going to continue spending all of her resources trying to screw us instead of improving her situation in any way because the AI does that. I think a thing you're gonna you're gonna see here as we progress into the late game and I want to do one more turn here for a reason you will see in a moment okay um, a thing that that happens especially through the middle and late parts of the Civ game is you start to generate the, the AI becomes a very annoying <laughs> And it starts to generate okay. a lot of animosity, and a lot of it comes down to stuff like them constantly making contact with you to just say some dumb shit while you're like, hey, I'm trying to do something. Uh-oh, my spy's been detected. Flee on foot. Uh, there's no aerodrome in the city, no harbor, and no vehicle, so all you can do is run out on foot. Police are more likely to be patrolling the quick exits. Exit by foot is always the safest option. Yeah, all right. Oh no! Arulia uh, was captured. That's annoying. Stupid spy. Uh, Plymouth is losing loyalty, and yeah, it's going to become an issue soon. Once this is built, obviously, things will be a lot better. Uh, but what we need to do right now is get our artillery. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull these guys back because I want to put the artillery core. Well, hmm, do I? I was going to say in this district so it's protected, but if the city's about to flip back, we will just lose it, I think. I'm not sure what happens if, we, if it's in, in an enemy district when the thing occurs. So I'm going to move our line infantry forward. I'm just going to move our artillery corps out to this space. I'm, try, I'm trying to be very careful here. Mm -hmm. uh, you... Should with this with this thing flipping back and forth, things are gonna be a little bit weird for a second. Yeah, you probably can't move. It's probably not safe for you to move. All right, you picked up a promotion and we're gonna take that back here where you can heal up a little bit. You're just gonna run forward and provide some religious aid to the people of Candy. It does look like Candy's going to flip naturally in 118 turns. Ugh, very annoying. This thing where she just like ran a bunch of um, a bunch of apostles south of us and just did annoying things. <laughs> the AI, like they stop, they stop being like threatening or good and they just start doing things that are annoying. And so you get, you get stuff like they'll fight with you over one city-state until there's 600 envoys <laughs> devoted to it between the two of you. Or they'll just call you up three times a turn to say some stuff that doesn't mean anything and doesn't help you. Or they'll offer you a trade deal that you said no to 17 times already. Once once they get it in their head that a, deal's a, good, a, a deal is a good idea, they'll, they'll offer it every four turns for the rest of the game. And stuff like that. And it's just... It creates a kind of animosity that I think is not it's not the it's not the thing where you want to be like, oh yes, you are my enemy and I will enjoy defeating you. It's just like why is the game made like this? Why are they why is it doing this? Um That's a bummer. Yeah. Are you okay over there? You're making an awful lot of like there's a lot of noises and stuff happening. 
I, it just is very funny to me that you're being annoying. Okay, so she's willing to make peace, formally cede Plymouth to us, still give us those um, great works, and give us back our spy in exchange for just peace and rep and war reparations. If she cedes Plymouth to us, it won't flip back. But the thing yeah. is, I really do think we need we need that aluminum. That's valuable stuff. Do you want to ask for Sheffield? I mean, sure. Yeah, she won't do that. Okay. So we're going to take it by force. It's not the towering sails. Okay. But the unseen. All right, so that flipped back. Okay, so Plymouth flipped back. It still doesn't have defenses. So we'll just have to destroy its health again, which is... That's an annoying way for that to work. Yeah. Uh, you fall back to here, get safe. It's like, what is, the, what is this... Lo like, in, in practice, what does this look like damage-wise? Um, we're pretty good at it. So shoot, what do I do with you? Because uh, I want to make sure that the line infantry can attack. So do you have a place you can go? That's a hill tile. Is if I if I move this field cannon, it's gonna um, be out of movement. Uh mm huh. All right. If I shoot with the with the cannon, do some damage, and then does the cuirassier have enough? No, it does not have enough strength to finish the job. So that's a little bit annoying. Um, Plymouth is going to... Plymouth is going to be in a state for a while. It's going to be a whole situation. Uh, yeah, all we can really do is win it back and then lose it again. It's just like kind of an annoying way for that to work. I'm going to step our our guy forward and we're going to threaten Sheffield, but he can't take Sheffield by himself, but we'll flip Plymouth again and then we'll move in. And it's just going to be a whole thing forever. Yeah. Forever. Okay. So we're working on building neighborhoods. Sanitation's coming. We're working on a couple of industrial era wonders. Flight's coming. Uh, build two privateers. That's the thing we can certainly do. Have a level two alliance for chemistry is a thing that we are also working on, actually. Extraction artifact is the thing that we will do as soon as we have um, as soon as we have an archaeologist. So there's a lot of this stuff that we are going to get for free. We are going to have to finish economics at some point. All right, uh, this this war has cracked. There was that like that long grinding period in the in the pa uh -huh. the past here, where basically we were having to destroy every bit of economic every bit of military progress she had built up for the entire game but now that her military is completely ruined ours is not as strong as it's ever been but ours still has its important core um uh built and she's on the back foot like we are in a position here where we can push considerably there is a question as to how much it is appropriate to take how much is going to make us look like a bad guy in the eyes of the world um how much is actually of value? I think yeah. Sheffield, Sheffield and Plymouth were taking at least maybe Hull. We'll see. We'll see. It's all stuff to, th to figure out. But basically, at this point, I feel like we're, we're in really good shape. And we can, um, as we're building up gold, we can continue to upgrade our units. We have, we have these advanced uh, oil units that we can upgrade some of our stuff to. We haven't had to yet, but... Um, yeah, I, th I think things are going very well for us. So that is where we're going to leave it off here, I think. Um, okay. And also we're working on a water park. Also, also that is occurring. Yeah. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. We are grinding through uh, this mid-game section, and we are moving rapidly. Well, rapidly. We're moving somewhat rapidly towards some of the victory conditions. You know, like we are actually gaining a lot of diplomatic victory points very quickly. Our uh, tourism is continuing to attract um, 
continuing to attract tourists without us doing anything really like now that we've got the sources of tourism down they're just working and there's nothing for us yeah. to do but sort of wait on that and continue to make the research and civics choices that will continue to boost those numbers keep making great people etc so we're doing it we are in the process of winning but it can be a long process uh so yeah like i said that's it for us for today thank you all so much for watching when you come back next time we will keep being in the process and we'll see you then <laughs>